right, everybody. My name is Irina Pinkusevich. I am um, a groomer, teacher, speaker, uh, and the current world champion right now. Until next June, somebody else will take this from me. But what I'm going to talk about today is um, the product. I have a, me and my partner, Joshua Morales, have a um, new shop about a year. And uh, we try to go natural with everything we do. No chemicals, products, shampoos, conditioners. But how do you go about your medicated? We have a lot of, Florida, very humid. We have a lot of skin problems, especially white dogs. <laughs> bad in Florida. So, of course, we went to the veterinarians and got the prescription shampoo and it's expensive and it's not really good for a dog in the long run. So, all of a sudden, we find out about this new product that I'm about to introduce. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't work for the company. I'm just loving the product in my shop. So, what it does, it's a completely 100% natural alternative to your prescription medicated shampoo. And it does probably even better than all your uh, fluorides and you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to name the names. I can't name the names. But the ingredients, if you, re if you take a little brochure and read the ingredients, not only that it soothes the skin, it also takes away the pain, if there's any pain, and um, cleans really well. It's, it's the most important part, because your medicated shampoos don't clean, as we all know. They, you got to clean the dog first, then you got to apply your medicated, then you have to rinse it, it, keep it on, then rinse it. So it's a big, so I was looking for the alternative, and I finally found it. It's a pretty new company, Advet Cosmetics about three years old and people are just starting to uh, find it and absolutely love it. I don't think I could do my skin problem dogs at my shop with anything else anymore. So what we have is shampoo, conditioners and um, a, an amazing product is your waterless shampoo which you can do on your hand strip dogs, shave dogs right after you groom the dog and you put this on with either a cloth or a um, boar, br boar bristle brush. It cleans, it takes care of the skin, and you don't actually have to put the dog in the water, which is amazing for me. Some cases, it works beautifully. So, but since this is a medicated shampoo, we all know it has to be penetrated the all the way to the skin. And I chose her because she's got so much coat and undercoat. It would be really difficult with our regular medicated shampoo to put it in the skin, to put it on the coat and penetrate the skin. So Edvet has this, I call it geniusly simple little thing that's a brush that would hold the shampoo inside of it. And I'll show you what it does. It's pretty amazing. I'm not good with arts and crafts, so it's not working. Okay. So just a little bit of water, not much. So it is all the way to the skin with this little brush. If you guys, if somebody wants to try it just to feel it, anybody wants to try it? Just to feel how it goes through the coat. Yeah. Give me yeah. some more water, please. Here. You don't have to push much. You're just gonna go right just through. See what happens? Oh, wow, look at that. I know. Not pushing much, and it just penetrates right through the coat. If you want to try, you're welcome to. That's nice. Very nice. Anybody else? Of course, whoever wants to try. Anybody else want to try? Come on over. You could get a chance give me, to watch the dog. Give me a little that. bit, a little water. Just a little water. Okay, just go on top of that. Oh, yeah. Not a lot of push, but a little bit. And so if you look, 
it's all the way to the skin. And also, <laughs> anybody else want to try? Come on, guys. We got a lot of hair. We got a lot of hair and a lot of people. Come on down. And then you have to stop and look through the coat, right to the skin. After just a couple of times, you go through that. It's all the way down. Yeah. So, not all the way up. <laughs> I heard you. It's all the way down. Okay, so on the other side, I'm going to show you. Can I have another one of these? Yep, here you go. Thank you. I'm going to show you how to put. I usually put the shampoo and conditioner on full coats like this, double coats. So I left a little piece here without anything so I can show you how the conditioner goes through, which usually is a little harder than a shampoo to go through the coat. With the conditioner though, I put a little bit of water in there. Where's the, oh. So let's say I washed with the shampoo. It rinses real easy too. And I want you guys to feel the coat right now, after a couple of seconds, right here where I just rinsed it. You don't wash your medicated shampoo like that, and we all know that. So we now, I'm gonna put some conditioner. It's in. All right, so, but the results are absolutely amazing. I did um, a hand strip dog. Do you guys hand strip? You know how their skin get a little red after you hand strip, especially on your flat work? where the coat is really, really short. In front of people here, I, I wish we would record that. I washed the dog once. It took me five minutes just with the shampoo. I didn't even put the conditioner, did I? No, I didn't. The red just went away in front of your eyes. But most, mostly your hot spots. 90 days of treatment, gone. It takes a little longer though, but it's gone forever and your coat is actually a much better looking and feeling. And you also clean the dog at the same time. This dog has a nice dog. This dog has a beautiful dog. She does. She's a little dry, though. She's a little dry. I didn't go underneath. I was doing the back. I was No, no, she's got a good coat. Yeah, and she's taken care of. Like, she's not your matted mess that we get in our shop. But you know, if I do get a matted mess, and it usually smells. You know that smell? When you shave that coat off, you're usually gonna find some skin problems. We also, we also have a lot of bugs in Florida. Ticks, fleas, you got flea allergy. Let me tell you, this shampoo and especially the spray, after we shave, uh, well, do you know the myth about flea and tick shampoo? Or do you still go for flea and tick shampoo? Come on, come on. <laughs> All right, so here's the myth. Uh, there is no tick shampoo that works. Nothing kills ticks. If you see, um, I'm not gonna name any names again. It's not, but if you see a tick shampoo on a bottle, it's not gonna work. Don't buy it. Now the flea shampoo, anything will kill fleas. If it says flea shampoo and it has uh, 20 percent more markup on the price just because it's a flea shampoo bull crap it's it, it doesn't work it's a myth you take uh, a regular dishwashing liquid and put it on a dog for enough time the fleas are gonna die anything will kill the fleas but the allergies is a, is something different we have a lot of dogs in Florida uh, humidity plus the allergy gives them huge problems. This takes care of it in less than 10, 12 days. If you sell a little bottle like this to your clients so they can do it every day, the dog comes in with perfect skin in two weeks. Not even the shampoo. Don't even worry about the shampoo, but this spray. It's got so many ingredients that if you read, you're gonna understand what it does. And it's made in such a way 
that it penetrates to the skin so well that it just heals it. And me being a dog groomer, not a veterinarian, even though I love making dogs feel better, it, we all do, uh, it makes the coat feel and, and um, the texture and the quality and the shine is much better after this product. And I don't know why, can you tell me why? Why does the texture of the coat becomes better? Do you know why? It's a miracle, but it does. It really does.